It's time now for a look to get a look at the day's business news. And the boss of Tesla, Elon Musk, could be in trouble again with regulators in the United States. Our business editor, Stephen Carroll, is here with more. Stephen, good morning. Hi, Delano. Yeah, the stock market regulator in the United States not very happy with Elon Musk, it has to be said. They've asked a judge to find him in contempt of court for breaking a promise not to tweet sensitive information without getting permission from Tesla's legal team. Now, the tweet in question was a week ago, where Elon Musk said that Tesla had made zero cars in 2011, but would make around 500,000 in 2019. But just a couple of hours later, it seemed that he'd spoken too soon, as he made a clarification tweet in which he said that Tesla, in fact, only made 400,000 cars in 20, or would make only 400,000 cars in 2019. He said he was talking about an annualised uh, production rate, and he meant that half a million figure. A pretty big difference, especially as we know that Tesla's had a number of difficulties uh, in getting its production targets met. The Securities and Exchange Commission are involved in all of this because of a legal settlement that Elon Musk made with them last year, after he had tweeted that he might take the company private. He's supposed now to have his tweets approved by the company's lawyers. A judge will now decide if he's broken that deal. Investors not impressed, though. Shares in Tesla down 5% in after-hours trading. The French finance minister has lashed out at the carmaker Ford over the closure of a factory near Bordeaux. Bruno Le Maire says the company has acted shamefully in rejecting a takeover offer for the plant that makes gearboxes. Unions now want the government to step in. Tatiana Nasser reports. This honourable and shameful behaviour, the French finance minister accused Ford of cowardice after they rejected an offer by Belgian manufacturer Punch to buy their plant, which would have saved the site along with hundreds of jobs. This is unfair for employees and unions who, along with myself, have fought for months to preserve the site and save jobs. We've already obtained monetary compensation from Ford in the past. We will carry on fighting to obtain still more. Ford will pay. Ford paiera. Unions have asked the government to intervene, but the finance ministry is reluctant to do so. Under a law passed in 2015, the government can force shareholders to sell by accepting a takeover deal on the condition that the company is in administration, which Ford is not. Others have even suggested France nationalize the Ford plant. It's the role of the state, at least on a temporary basis, other than maintaining jobs, to maintain a dynamic industrial base in France. But the finance ministry disagrees. Ford, for its part, has stated they have a plan that will fairly compensate workers and help them find employment. The French carmaker PSA has reported record revenues for 2018, up almost 19 per cent. The figure is boosted by the Opel brand, which has turned its first profit since 1999, following a restructuring after it was bought by PSA from General Motors. Net profits overall at the group jumped by almost half to 2.8 billion euros. PSA also announcing that the Peugeot brand will return to the United States after a nearly 30-year absence, while the company will also relaunch Citroën in India and Opel in Russia. Well, let's see how that news went down on the markets next. Despite what sounded like good news, PSA shares actually opening down almost 2% in Paris. Investors clearly uh, not impressed with those figures. London, Paris and Frankfurt all opening in the red, as you can see. Over in Asia, markets held on to much of the gains that we saw yesterday. Shanghai even at one stage inching further up. But don't forget, it gained over 5% in trading uh, on Monday after President Trump said he'd pushed back a deadline to raise tariffs on Chinese imports. So being down by two thirds of 1% still means it's up fairly sharply for the week. We're also keeping an eye on the value of the pound sterling today, uh, which has risen on hopes that Theresa May may delay Brexit. A pound trading for $1.31 and just under €1.16 as well. And finally, for me, quick-witted entrepreneurs in Hanoi are following the trend that started in Singapore and making the most of the summit between Donald Trump and Kim Jong-un for some good, terrible puns. The Unicorn Pub has its special Rock It Man cocktail, which combines, combines Korean soju and American bourbon. While the Dirty Bird restaurant has come up with some special burgers for the occasion, the Dirty Donald and the Kim Jong, Kim Jong Yum, as Chef Colin Kelly explains.
the, the extravagance is the double beef, double bacon, double cheese, fried pickles, and then topped off with the chicken floss to represent the head of hair that Mr. Trump has. And then for Mr. Kim Burger, so again, on a freshly baked bun, the smoked uh, wild boar and smoked pork belly, which is a nice addition and a change from to offer an alternative to the beef. And then to give the Korean element, we put uh, kimchi mayonnaise and then crispy fried kimchi as well. Just an Irish man to come up with a terrible pun involving a burger. He also said that the sauce on the side is a Russian dressing. Which one would you pick? I'd pick the dirty Donald. I think, yeah, I think I would as well. Ooh, fried kimchi, I'm not sure with the pulled pork, so <laughs> it's a bit uh, too adventurous for me. Thank you very much for that, Stephen Carroll, there with a look at the day's business news. It's